Along with that, among those 10,000 people, there's an unlikely fan from Ohio. He's a sous chef for a country club, and the reason he's here is because he was mistaken for the former Alabama defensive coordinator, Jeremy Pruitt. He thought he'd have a little bit of fun with it with the wrong tagging and try to play, you know, Mississippi State football coach, but he had absolutely no idea what would happen next. When Mississippi State was searching for its new football coach, Alabama's defensive coordinator, Jeremy Pruitt, was one of the names in the mix. Within the social media frenzy that was the SEC's coaching search, a different Pruitt was tagged on Twitter. That's how it started. You know, someone kind of had gotten me confused. And, you know, a lot of times uh, people just want to, you know, tweet and be like the first person to say hello or, or hi. His first reaction was to ignore it, but more tweets kept coming. So I'm like, okay, I have a little fun with this now. So I got on Google and I uh, Googled like, every fictional um, coach I could figure out and um, went with that. And you just jumped on it. Did you expect it to, <laughs> to blow up this much? Absolutely not. Um, I figured it would just be funny, especially like when Joe Moorhead got hired. I just figured, you know, we would, we would stay in contact, you know, with fans down here and whatnot. He plans to attend the home football game against Florida on September 29th. But an available weekend brought him to Starkville a little bit earlier to watch the women's basketball game against South Carolina. For the last few days, he's been soaking in everything Starkville, which includes wearing maroon and white. Trying to get him the best stuff, like the most popular items, to cheer on his new team. Employees at Maroon & Co., who were also Mississippi State students, aren't surprised by the welcoming atmosphere of Starkville. We're just trying to show him how authentic we are, um, pretty genuine. Um, most people think Southerners are pretty friendly, but they don't really know how friendly until they actually come down here. Of course, Starkville is really welcoming. Like, I came in from Atlanta, and everybody is just real hospitable. So the fact that that happened, you know, maybe it was God's way of working his little magic, you know. Pruitt's family is originally from South Carolina, and for a time he lived in Kentucky. So Southern hospitality isn't a foreign concept to him. But the welcome he received was still overwhelming. I've probably hugged more people this weekend, and I've only been here 36 hours, something like that, than I probably have in my entire life. I mean, everyone that I meet, you know, instead of up north, you know, we might shake hands or high five or whatever. But down here, I've hugged almost everyone that I've met. I love your Twitter profile where you say, Ohio State Buckeye through and through, but Hell State's my new love. You feel like you've been adopted into the maroon and white family? Uh, absolutely. I definitely just wanted to shout out like everyone down here that's been extremely hospitable. There's so many people that I've met um, that I consider, well, you know, uh, the saying is, you know, we're not fans, we're family. Pruitt also told us he has plans to make an appearance for Super Bulldog Weekend in April. But if he's not able to, he still is confident that he will for sure make it for the home football game against Florida on September 29th. Live outside of the Humphrey Coliseum, Parker King, WCBI News.